Hi guys and welcome to the video today I have Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with me and today we are going to take a look at the Android 7.1.1 Moki ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So this ROM is quite stable, it hasn't got any big issues and right, so the performance is also quite okay. Um, yeah, as you can see it uh, hasn't got the pixel launcher on board which is not that nice but actually I uh, um, like this launcher also. You can of course download the pixel launcher from the Play Store and right, so as I said earlier the performance is quite okay um, but the battery backup isn't that good. I mean it is still okay but it, it's not it's not as good as on touch based rom so we'll pro you will probably get like six hours of screen on time if you're not an uh, a heavy user um if you are a, a heavy user you will probably get like five hours of screen on time but this should be okay to get at least one full day and right so now let's take a look what this rom includes so this ROM isn't a fully feature-packed ROM, uh, just like Resurrection Remix or uh, AICP, but it still has got some small uh, minor um, configuration options, just like the status bar modifications here. You can uh, change the position of the clock, um, you can enable or disable quick pull-down, and all that standard stuff which you also get on all other ROMs based on AOSP. You can also change the button actions from here, you can enable or disable the navigation bar here which is really nice and the nice thing about the uh, navigation bar here is that you got the pixel style uh, navigation bar so you also get the pixel style animations when you press on the home button so as you can see when I press on the home button you can see that you got this pixel style animation which looks really really nice as you can see here. Another thing which is uh, really nice in this ROM is that you can um, lock items in the recent apps panel. So, for example, I've opened plenty of uh, apps in the background here, as you can see, and we can basically uh, lock these uh, recent app items here. So, I've already locked the messaging app, as you can see here. Um, now, I've also locked the browser, and as you can see, you can't. Uh, dismiss these uh, recent apps here anymore they won't go away and also if you clear press on clear all these two will still be there so they won't um, go away so this is something which is also really nice to see this is probably probably the first ROM to have this based on Android Nougat um, so this is pretty much it as I said earlier this ROM hasn't got that big bugs um, the only thing which is not working that nice is the camera so you can open you can of course take pictures with the camera but it isn't that good as on touch with based ROMs but it's still okay for the for the daily usage and right uh, the fingerprint scanner is also working really nice so uh, let's set our fingerprint here So we are done and um, at the first place you need to uh, set in your pattern but after that you can also use your fingerprints here to unlock the device and as you can see it works quite well. So this was pretty much it, if you liked the video give a thumbs up, if, don't, uh, if you didn't like the video give a dislike and yeah, peace out.